The reason I love physics is because it deals with things which are both incredibly large, like the moon and the planets, and also things which are incredibly small. So in all my videos I tend to use Lego to represent things, and this uh, yellow piece of Lego is going to represent a proton. Now the problem is that things which are really big have lots of zeros after the number, and things which are really small have lots of zeros in front of it. And there's a better way to write this rather than just writing it out like this. So the moon, uh, we give it, or we write it out as 7.35 times 10 to the 22 kilograms. And things which are really small, like the mass of a proton, is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Now numbers which are displayed in this format of m times 10 to the n are what we call standard form. And it's a really useful thing to get used to when it comes to physics. Now the first number, which has just got the symbol m here, which stands for mantissa, this is a number which is bigger than or equal to 1, and it's smaller than 10. So basically 1.0 all the way up to 9.99999. So that's the first number. Uh, the second number, n, well this is an integer, which just means it's a whole number, like 1, 2, 3 or 4. And it can also be both positive or negative. Now the more positive the number, the bigger the thing that it's talking about, the more negative this number, the smaller the number that's displayed. Now let's have a look at an example. Uh, say, for example, we had the number 2.6 times 10 to the 2. Okay, so this number here between 1 and 10, and this is a whole number. Now, this is the same 10 to the power of 2 as 10 squared, which is 100. So 2.6 times 100. And 2.6 times 100 is 260. So 2.6 times 10 to the 2 is just another way of writing the number 260. And in the examples below, I show you how to actually work out um, how to write numbers in standard form or convert from standard form back into normal numbers.